Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest version of the most popular browser around the world, Google Chrome. Now if you use Google Chrome, you should be today at version 61. If you're not, or if you don't know how to check that, simply, um, you know, click on your icon for Google Chrome, go on the upper right corner, three little dots, go into help and about Google Chrome, and you will see that if you're not at version 61, it's going to actually do a check for an update and want you to update to 61. So um, in the visuals of Chrome 61, really nothing much, because what's happening is that they've not really tweaked the browser itself, um, except maybe just putting in sync the um, help and settings uh, so that everything looks the same. There was slight little differences here and there. Now they've kind of made that all the same. So um, what is new or what's the changes in here? First of all, um, there's a new set of default for user images. Uh, the autoplay policy for HTML5 videos. Now there's a uh, policy that you can turn on or off. Data, data saver site breakdown doesn't add up to totals on the version update and don't show negative savings. There's dev tools and the dev tools and they add save profile toolbar button in the performance panel. Disable first run for managed profiles. Extensions don't allow content scripts on a new tab page. Enable automatically detected cups printer to print preview dialog. Uh, enable ASM.JavaScript WebAssembly by default. Keep scanned host devices in the cache for longer, from five minutes to two hours. Uh, move extension unzip unpack to background thread to prevent the blocking of the main utility thread. On dual GPU Max, there is a blacklist MSAA for both GPUs if either is Intel. Switch pause mute buttons locations in RTL languages. There's a lot of security fixes in here. So in there, there's some things that are important to fix. And just for the sheer security updates that's in here, it's actually a really good idea to upgrade your browser, um, mostly for that. Because for the rest, you know what? There's like not too many things that are actually going to be uh, changed uh, in general. So uh, the updated uh, stable 61.0.3163.79 is what we have at the latest. Lots of little uh, um, you know, fixes, especially for the, uh, the security side. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.